So last night, I posted a video about the 66 Mustang. We were going to raffle this car off. We were going to give some guy out there, a girl, the opportunity to own a 1966 Mustang for $25. I worked on the Mustang yesterday because I was excited. I was going to put it all together, get it running, and auction it off at $25 a ticket. I was going to go ahead and raffle this car off instead of put it on Craigslist and just sell it. I woke up this morning and I read the comments on the video like I always do. Limpy's not here no more. Limpy is gone and will not come back. Goodbye, Limpy. Just to let everybody know out there, we had a little question about Limpy. That's the story of Limpy. That's all we need to know. He's gone and he won't come back and he'll never be back. Back to the Mustang. Um, so, yeah, it's a bitch. I know. I know. But uh, you know what's more important than having Limpy here? Getting fucking work done. Okay? That's what's more important. Alright? If you want to see Limpy, call him. Back to the Mustang. Uh, so we were going to raffle the car off. I was really excited. Um, I'm going to get the thing running. It'll be running today. Running and driving. Uh, we found out the only thing wrong with it is the fuel line's disconnected. And the previous owner did that on purpose. Um, so while it was sitting, it wouldn't mess the carburetor and the fuel lines up. We noticed that it has a brake leak over here, so we got to fix that. But then uh, everything will be working. But the real deal is, is that the haters out in the world suck, okay? I had threats that they were going to turn me into the Texas, uh, what the fuck is, Attorney's General's Office for running an illegal gambling operation. And it sounds like it's a joke, and it sounds like it's funny to you that somebody actually left comments and I took them serious, but I'm going to go back in time here, and we're going to walk over here to a spray gun, because these are spray guns, okay? These are spray guns that I paint cars with right here. And this is an HVLP gun right here. I made a video. I made a video set on how to use your spray gun and set it. And I was focusing on setting the pattern and the volume and the proper way to do it. And I was doing it. Let me open that door. I was standing right here, right here on this floor, about 10 feet away from the wall. And inside that spray gun. Okay, this is my other bay here. This is another bay where I'm working. And inside that spray gun, I'm going to go ahead and grab it so you can see what the fuck's going on here. And I'm going to tell you about this top, about why this top's on here in a minute. But inside that spray gun was water. There was fucking water in there because I was holding the spray gun doing this and adjusting the situation here and showing you how to use a spray gun properly. Okay. And you can see the pattern moving from little to big, and the volume was moving from a mist to a waterfall. And that's what I was doing. I was showing you, you, the fucking guy out there that watches these videos to learn, I was showing you how to do that. And it was a very popular video. I believe the video is still online. Um, I had to remove one video. I had to take part two off. And what part two consisted of is I had a truck cab sitting in this spot right here. All right. And the truck cab was in bare metal. And part two was where I actually took the spray gun and I epoxy primed the fucking car, the, the truck cab right here where the Camaro's sitting. Well, some cocksucker piece of shit out there in the fucking world called the EPA on me and said, there's a guy in Texas that is spraying cars outside of his fucking paint booth. 
Now, I'm going to tell you the laws and regulations of EPA. First of all, EPA does not go by, you're painting a car outside. They go by how many pounds of paint you purchase per year. I had to go to my suppliers and they had to print out five years of paint that I purchased from them. And then what they do is they calculate from all this paperwork, there was like five or six hundred sheets of paperwork, they calculate if you are over usage or under usage, they calculate whether you can actually paint a car in your fucking driveway. Well, it just so happened that I don't paint enough cars every fucking year, and I didn't fall into the category of being the bad guy. But the situation is, it took six months to go through all that shit. The fucking EPA came over and fucking tested my paint booth out to make sure that I have everything legal and everything was working. And we're gonna go walk in here. And they checked my fire sprinkler system to make sure that all that was fucking working. And everything was up to date and all my filter systems worked and all that shit. The point I'm getting to here, okay, because you probably don't know what I'm talking about because you don't make videos. You don't make videos and you don't show people how to do shit. And you don't go through step-by-step -step procedures of it and take that chance of some asshole, motherfucking loser piece of shit out there that will literally call the Texas General Attorney's Office and say, there's a guy in Texas that has a car that he's raffling off. And I think you should do something about it. And then have the Attorney General's Office come over here and fuck with me on that. Kind of like EPA fucked with me on this. Now, the reason this cup is on here, I'm going to tell you why. Because it's mandatory that you have a HVLP gun, all right, with a removable cup, just like you see there. All right, and this one just came off. I got to put it back on. And it's got to be that type of cup if you are in the fucking business. So... That's why this gun's hanging here. I don't use this gun anymore. This gun is here in case the EPA comes out. I shouldn't even be talking to you about this. I shouldn't even be telling you about this because you might be the loser cocksucker that might call the EPA and say, hey, that guy over there, he's fucking you. He's fucking with you. So... I have a place of business here. This is not a fucking hobby shop. This is not a, a backyard garage. All right. The cars that you see in here are cars that I work on to make my living. This is how I make my living. I'm what you call self-employed. And when you're self-employed, you usually end up working seven days a fucking week. 18 hours a day, struggling to pay your fucking bills. And when you're working that hard, you kind of devise yourself a plan on how can I make more money? What can I do to survive in the world we live in today? You see that right there? Yeah, right there. Because the corporation is taking over, my friend. The corporation is now the leader of the world. Has anybody ever heard of New World Order? Well... Corporation and New World Order all go into one. They are controlling you, believe it or not. I'm going to go ahead and give you a conspiracy theory, and I really don't like talking about this shit on this channel, but, you know, I'm going to throw it out there to you. Donald Trump is our president. When the presidency was going on, Hillary Clinton was acting like a fucking lunatic psychopath, acting like a crazy, insane Hitler-type person. Now, there's a lot of people out there that think that the government system is rigged, that you and me don't have a vote. And they believe that Donald Trump was actually voted in by you and me. Well, this is my conspiracy theory. Donald Trump was voted in by the corporations. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the government wants 
this country to be run by the corporate world. They don't want people like me. They don't want hard-working motherfuckers like my friend Pete that work 20 hours a fucking day, seven days a week. They don't want that. All right? They want you to go to work. They want you to work for them. They want to control your paycheck, when you're going to take vacation, when you're going to fucking take a shit, when you're going to fucking buy your groceries, when you're going to buy your clothes, and where all this is going to happen. And the most popular corporate guru in the world is Donald Trump. I believe that Hillary Clinton was paid to act the way she did. To run ballistic as a psychopath and to put herself out of the race so Donald Trump would win. Because having a corporate guru in office will make the corporation even stronger. About a month and a half ago, okay, we're looking at the fucking Mustang here. We're not looking at me because this is, this is small business world here, see? This is all small business world, so we're focusing on that. We're focusing on the small business guy getting fucked. You see how that finger's going up and down, up and down real slow, huh? Sliding on that glass, okay? Like an icicle. You see what I'm saying? Because that's what's happening to us right there. We're getting fucked. And I'm going to tell you this. Donald Trump had a uh, meeting with Small Business America. But if you watch that video, every motherfucker that's in that meeting with him is not Small Business America. Look, look at me, motherfucker. I am Small Business America. You see this right here? You see the way I look? I, I'm Small Business America. Not the motherfuckers that were at the meeting with their three-piece suits and they're fucking, uh, you know, driving their Corvettes and their Porsches and Cadillacs to the meeting with their fucking uh, chauffeurs, okay? Because to me, Small Business America is right here. Working your fucking ass off to pay your bills, staying out of trouble, not doing drugs, not fucking drinking alcohol and working your ass off to survive. That's what Small Business America is to me. So as far as I'm concerned, that little meeting that Donald Trump had with the Small Business Association had nothing to do with me. And it will not change anything to do with anything that has anything to do with people like me and possibly you that fucking work for a living. Now, I just had a comment there that said, quit moving the fucking camera around. Well, let me tell you how it is, guy. Go get your own fucking phone or your camera and make your fucking videos and put 4,500 videos up on the internet. Then you can say whatever the fuck you want, okay? Because, yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that I worked my fucking ass off. I can't get a fucking loan at a bank because I'm self-employed. The banks look at me and treat me like white trash, even though I have a credit score of uh, over 750. They don't give a shit. They don't fucking care what the fuck you got because you are self-employed. So, this car will be put on Craigslist and sold. Nobody's going to get this car for $25. There ain't even going to be a chance in hell of you paying me $25 for a raffle ticket and you hopefully getting this car because the corporate world and the haters and all the socialistic, liberal fucking cocksuckers out there have taken control of the situation. Just like our situation we had with our fucking spray guns. Right there. Okay? So you tell me, should I have left the video up and, tell, and then say, fuck you, hater? Come on, bring it on. Or should I take the car off and just go ahead and sell the piece of shit on fucking Craigslist and be done with it? I'm going to let you fucking make your mind up on that one. We got Minnie the Body Shop girl that just pulled in. We're going to get her fucking angle on it and see what she has to say about the socialistic, liberal piece of shit bastard 
that fucked us in our ass on trying to help somebody out there in the world own a car for $25. Did you hear any of this? Huh? You know I don't like to come to work and the first thing I hear is you screaming and fucking all. Okay, we're talking about the Mustang, okay? We're talking about liberal piece of shit bastard haters out there. I need some help here. Okay, give me the coffee. There you go. Oh, that was a lot of fucking help. Okay, hang on everybody. We're going to get... Minnie just got here to work, so she just brought my little dog are we live in. On there? Yeah, we are live. You want to be the camera girl? Huh? Okay, Minnie uh, just got here and uh, she's kind of like getting ready. So, everybody hang on because we're not going to do a live video tomorrow night. We've got too much other shit going on. I gotta feed the animals and stuff. Okay. Feed. I, you know, well, I'm they can wait. Right okay, they can wait a second. All right. Can they wait a minute? Just a minute. We just need to get your opinion on this, please. Because we're live, okay? Give me the fucking thing. Oh, so you want to be behind the camera? Okay, so now you're behind the camera. Yeah, Pete. Okay, I want to ask you a question. What do you think about these hater fucking jerk offs? that forced us out of giving the car up for a raffle. What's your opinion on that? Oh, I just think it's a bitch. I'm over here, okay? Go ahead. I can't walk that much, Pete. You know my ankle's oh, I'm fucked sorry. up. Okay, let me stand right here. Go ahead. What are you thinking? I think it's a bunch of bullshit, okay. and that's all I got to say about uh, can it. Can you go ahead and verify a story? Remember when I made those videos out there about the uh, spray guns and some jerk-off out in the world called EPA on us? And EPA came out here and almost shut us down over this shit. Yeah. For about four or five months, I was fucking dealing with them. Yeah. Okay. Now you got to. Now they understand why. Ain't gonna be no raffle because of the fucking haters. Okay. And all we're trying to do is better ourselves. Give somebody a chance to own a fucking 1966 Mustang Deluxe for twenty five dollars. I don't know why you're going on and on and on. Because I think it's bullshit. Drop it. It's please. fucking bullshit. Give me my camera. You're not being a good camera girl today. No, I think it's bullshit that you're reacting like this. I think you just need to let it fucking go. Drop it. Yeah. So, you know, this wasn't really the type of live video that I wanted to put on uh, my YouTube channel, especially DIY Auto School, um, because I like to keep my standards a little bit higher on DIY Auto School than my other YouTube channels, and I like to stay more professional. But let me ask you a question. Is this being professional by showing the world that the system sucks, and um, is this being more professional to let everybody know out there that there are scumbags in the world that don't fucking like you and don't know you and have never met you in their life and all they are is jealous piece of shit bastards. Is that showing you something here? Is that telling you that you need to watch your step? You need to walk lightly. You need to, to uh, 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 look over your shoulder because the monkey might fucking pull you by your fucking ponytail if you have one. Okay, if you do. And, 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 you know, put you in the fucking gutter. And that is what the story is on our Mustang right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I got to get to work. Um, and I hope everybody out there has a beautiful day like I'm having. And if you're interested in this car, uh, look up Craigslist Dallas and it'll be on there. And it will be running and driving. And the person that won this car could have came down here and shook a hand and made a friend with my friend Pete in person. And we could have, you know, gone to the taco house, got some tacos, and had a good time. And I could have waved goodbye to you as you were driving your 1965 Mustang home that you paid $25 for. And everybody would have been happy. But, you know, the corporate world fucked us. The corporate world stuck it in our ass and screwed us around. I'm going to ask everybody a question out there. Where is America? Where is it? Where is the United States of America? I don't understand. One more thing. Um, when I got this car in, this guy's the second owner of this car. 
And I want you to look at all the fucking body work I've done to this car. When I stripped this car down to bare metal, the guy was shocked. He could not believe how much body work was done to this car. He said he bought it from a used car lot. And I want to go over here. Uh, I want you to look at these uh, windshield posts here. Look at the body work up here, okay? Especially this one over here. That means that this car had to get hit really, really high. Okay, look at that. Okay, and I'm finishing up right here. We'll have this car in primer today. But here's a good fucking example of where the corporation started taking over. I finally realized why this thing has so much body work on it. I finally realized it when I was trying to weld up all the holes from the old school guy using a uh, dent puller, a slide hammer, you know, how you take the screw and you drill a hole and then you screw it in there and you pull the dent out. Well, I finally realized that this is basically where the corporate America started fucking us in the ass. Is that this car, the metal on this car is so thin, it's like paper. If you try to weld it, it will just melt. If you, if you barely touch it or barely bump into it, it fucking dents. This car's from Japan or China. This car is made out of probably a third or a quarter of the metal that the cars of this era that were made in America were made of. It's just amazing. One more thing I want to talk about is World War II. Let's go back into World War II. Let's talk about that. Um, corporate America started in World War II. Do you see? A lot of you people don't know what war is all about. War is about control. War is about conquering your country and taking over. So when World War II ended in Japan, basically America went over there and took over. They went over there and they took over, and now they are part of America because America gave Japan a lot of our jobs. America screwed the Americans in the fucking ass. What you're looking at here, and this is why Mustangs are worth a lot of money, this is an icon of America. This car was made in America. It was built in America. Everything you see on this car is from America, okay? There's no aftermarket parts on it. Everything on this car is factory original. And this is an American icon to look at and say, we got fucked. We got fucked and there's nothing we can do. So we'll see you later. If somebody out there is hitting on Minnie, that just makes me feel better that she's a good looking woman and I love her with all my heart. And uh, we got to go. At least she's American. At least Minnie the Body Shop Girl was made in America. And I'll be taking Minnie the Body Shop Girl with me for the rest of my life. And I can always say I got a piece of America in the back pocket of my jeans. We'll see you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. Looking at all the situations and all the fucking haters and the liberal socialist cocksuckers. One more thing I want to talk about. I'm just trying to get it all out. You got all these fucking a assholes and these idiots out there that want to tear down statues. And I think it's really a joke because the people that are tearing these statues down don't even know what the fucking meaning of the statue is. They don't know the history of the person that the statue was made from. They don't know anything about anything but that it's a bronze statue and the guy's holding a sword. Okay, he's holding a sword like this or he's standing like this with his sword down the bottom or he's holding a fucking gun or whatever he's doing. And they don't know who the guy is or what his name is. or It's just, it's just that, well, if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it because it's something to do. The statues they're tearing down is history of America. It's American history being torn down and crushed and fed to the corporation. Believe what you fucking want. I don't give a shit because I'll be dead and gone. And one day you're going to wake up and say, God, that guy on YouTube, he was right. Motherfucker, man. I can't believe it. We got to go. Many body shop girls inside waiting. 
And we got a lot of fucking work to do right here. I didn't mean to bring Cork to DIY Auto School, but this is the only live channel I got. And I had to get my feelings out, and that's the situation. So we'll see you later. Um, Six-cylinder Mustang, number matching engine. I've already checked it out. Number matching drivetrain. And uh, it could have been yours, buddy. It could have fucking been yours for $25. Take it easy.